Hello everyone and welcome back to A Soul Tempted Life. In today's video, we will be doing a couple of things. We will be pulling our bill money for February um, so that we can get that put in the bank because the end of the month is fastly approaching. And we will be doing our um, end of month check-in to see how much money we saved for the month of January. All right. And so, and additionally, we will, um, what I will do at the end of the video is respin the wheel because in my previous video, I mentioned that winner number one of my 3000 subscriber giveaway did not contact me per the instructions. And I still have the bad is in budget planner that I still need to give away. So I still have that wheel, uh, that I used on my uh, iPad. So I will uh, spin that wheel again to come up with a new winner. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, how's everyone doing? And happy Friday. All right. So let's start with our bills binder. I tell you guys, this has been a very, very hectic week for me um, in terms of work. I have really been on the grind, I tell you. Whew. But anyway, God is still good, right? All right, so let's start with um, our monthly bill. And I checked to see how much my bill is for next month. Well, due in February, and it was $160. So that's a little bit more than I'm used to paying but it's, it's all good. So we got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, <clears throat> 170. So I owe myself $10. So when I get some change, I will put $10 back in here in Georgia Power. Hold on. Sorry about the interruption. Okay, so for Georgia Gas, let's see how much we have in here. We have 50, 70, 90. Y'all, I can't count this morning. 50, 70, 90, 110, 115. And I think that is going to be enough. I'm gonna put this five in here. So now we owe Georgia, uh, Georgia Power uh, five more dollars. All right, and next is water. So for water, we have $45, which is enough. And here we go. We got our other $5. We're going to put that back in Georgia Power. So we have satisfied that. Next is AT&T. This is a thorn in my side, but hey. We got one, two, three hundred and twenty dollars that we are paying AT&T. Next is Verizon and Verizon. We got one hundred fifty, two hundred and forty dollars. All right. Next is home and storage. And again, this is to help with my family home um, that my parents had, and now my uh, two of my siblings live there. But we all, I have three siblings and we all chip in. So we got, and the other is storage for my boyfriend's storage. So we got 51, 52, um, 20, 40, and 50. So $250 going in for that. And then we got pet insurance. And pet insurance is $38. So we got $40 for that. And then we have, and I still haven't changed this envelope, but uh, for um, LA Fitness and Peloton, we have um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 125. So, um, LA Fitness is $30. So, I'm going to put 40 and take 10 back. 
And then Peloton is uh, $45, I believe it is. All right. And so we got 50 left. So here in miscellaneous, um, this is for my Apple card and also for um, the refrigerator that I bought from Home Depot. It's zero interest, so that's $50 for that. And then um, my Apple card, which is only a couple hundred dollars. That's where, you know, all my Apple Care and all of my Apple subscriptions go on that card. So it's like $25. A month, so I'm gonna put five back in here. All right, so we are good there. Next is Marriott. Uh, so for Marriott, we got 100, 200, $240. I uh, hopefully I'll be done paying for this soon. I intended to pay it off the end of last year, but I changed my mind. But I will do that this year for sure. All right. So, and this is Racoma. Guys, I purchased this this uh, machine. Cost me $18,000. It's zero interest. But how about it still has, it still have the plastic on it? I mean, my son, mm, that's all I'm going to say. All right. This is $260. All right, these two, I always pay, I don't even know why I got these envelopes in here because I always pay these. I, um, I'm trying to pay them down, so I make two payments per month on these and they've already been paid for February. And rooms to go is $60, $59. All right, so that is it for our primary bills. Now, Let's pull the money for our subscriptions. All right, our monthly subscription. So we don't have any annual subscriptions coming out this month. So for um, this is YouTube and it's $20 a month. And we still have, what we got here, 25. Netflix is actually $25 a month. I'm just going to put 20. No, I have a buffer. Next is Adobe, and that's $20 a month. So we're going to pull 20 for that. And I think we got 25 left. And this is our um, streaming service. And it's $25 a month. And then FICO and ID. So, I'm trying to think. I think I already paid that. So, that is why I only have $20 in here. So, I'm going to leave this $20 in here. I think I pulled it already. I'm not sure I'll check, but if I don't, like I said, I have a buffer, so it'll take care of it. All right, so I have on here that my next uh, XM radio bill is going to come out in February. And so we are going to go ahead and pull $90 for that. So that's 50, 70, 80, and 90. And the next one won't come out until May. So that'll give me time to collect $90. All right. And so, and that is it for our monthly bills. So let's see how much we have going back to the bank. Pay them bills, baby. That's one, two, three.
All right, so we have $2,055 going back to the bank. All right, for our bills. Now, moving right along, I'm excited about this because I want to know myself. So, what I am going to do is to, this is our um, end of month check-in to see how much money we actually saved. Okay, let's see. What, oh, here it is. I think I've already written everything out here. So all the all the balances for all of these sinking funds were zero. So I'm only counting the the um, challenges that I actually added money to in the month of January. My sinking funds that carried over from last year, I'm not counting that because I want to get an accurate account of the amount of money I saved for the month of January. All right. So pretty much it's just counting all of our sinking funds. I mean, I'm sorry, all of our saving challenges. All right, so the first one is monthly. Let me see if I can move this back some. I got a new um, thing for my, this is what I've been using to put my change in. I uh, found this at Ross. So I'm just going to move this out the way real quick so I can push this back some and give us a little room. All right, so just sit this over here. Now, let's see. So we should have saved $300 for our first month. Let's just make sure. 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80. $300. So, end and balance is $300. All right. So, now next is going to be we're going to go ahead and get our boxes out of the way. So, and I'm not going to actually take these out the envelope. I'm just going to look at my tracker. So, for this one, I'm just going to say 100. Actually, no, I'm going to count everything because that's 100. And these, I put 5, 5 in up to 5, and then 10 up to 10. So that's 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75 dollars. So we got 75, 100, and, I'm sorry, 175 dollars in our 100 envelope. Plus 15. So we saved $625 in the month of January for this challenge. That's not bad at all. All right. Move that over. And then for this one, let's see. Seven. Eight and nine. All right, so in here we should have five hundred and sixty-six dollars. Five sixty-six. All right, so we got those out of the way. Now it should be easy going forward. <laughs> All right, so now let's see which saving challenge book we want to start with. Yeah, so let's start here. In our ones, we save 50. And we got one, two, three, four. Oh, this is, get this here. 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have $65 in our ones. In our fives, 
So far, we have saved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, $85. All right, in our 10, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $80. And this is all for January, guys. Just This is a great start to the year. If this is in the indication, we should definitely meet our goal. Okay, in our 20s, we got $40. All right, now it's love and I, as y'all know, last year I stuffed this side all the way up to 10 off camera when I have extra money. So that's why you see that I, I completed another row. So in sloth, we got 51, 52, 20, 40, 60. So 260. All right. And our nickel challenge, so far we got $100. And our penny challenge, for the month of January, we saved $75. And our 2024 challenge, so far we've saved $150. So in our vacate challenge, so far we've saved 51, 10, I'm, I'm sorry, 5 and 10, so 110. In legacy, we got 25, that's 25. Okay. All right, and our seventy-five hundred dollar challenge. So far, we got one, two, three, fifty, seventy, ninety, four, four hundred and ten dollars. All right, that is for our first binder. Moving on to our second saving challenge binder. So for our $1,000 challenge, so far we have 51, 52, 3000 dollars challenge we got 51 52 20 40 60 83 20 30 35 and 40 340 dollars and this is our quarterly challenge so we're gonna have to beef this up a little bit if we want to meet our goal for the quarter because that's you know by the end of march we gotta have this done all right and that's it for this binder Yep. All right, so next is our $100 challenge, and we got $200. And then next is, oops, this and that. Back in here, these are my stickers. So far, in this and that, we have saved 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 230 dollars in this, this and that. 
Is it this and that or this or that? I guess this and that. 230. All right. Moving on to our mini saving challenges. So, in our $210 challenge, so far we've saved $20, $40, $60, $70. $20, $40, $60, $75. All right, now $150 challenge, we saved $150. So these are small goals. I, I am so excited about that. This keeps you motivated when you you know, complete these small challenges. All right, and our $200 challenge, 20, 40, 60, 80, we got $90. And our $300 challenge, we got 70. All right, in our $500 challenge, we have $120. All right, and I think I got two challenges that I'm working off camera back here, which is a 1K. Then we got 20, 25, 30, 35. I don't have that one on here. So let me put it up, put it back here. I said 25. And then we have another one for $1,000. And we got 50 in there. All right, so that that's it for that um, mini saving challenges. So let's go back over here. Now, in each one of these, we have one hundred dollars. I'm not going to take them out to count them, but we have a hundred dollars. Okay, but one thing I am gonna do while I'm here, since I'm taking this money back to the bank, let's go ahead and, and use up, actually, I shouldn't have done that, but let's start from back here, because these are the ones that don't have. All right, so we used up those hundreds to condense this. All right, so we are good there. So the last binder that we have to count is our scratch off. And okay. Oh, I put the money in the wrong one. 
We're supposed to be in the 320. So for 320, we have 51, 20, 40, 45, $145. $145. All right. So in our 710, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 195. Wait, is that one or two? Yeah, one ninety five. We got two hundred dollars. Just this one. All right. Next is eleven seventy five. In eleven seventy five, we got fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten. 130, 150, 171, 190, 210, 250. All right, and in our $1,500 challenge, we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 210. All right. So that is everything. Now let's just add this up to see how much we actually saved for the month of January. Wow, guys, we saved $6,231 in the month of January alone. Isn't that amazing? Whew. All right, so yes, I am so excited about what this year has to bring. All right, guys, so... Thank you all. So next we are just going to spin this wheel and then I will let you guys get on with the rest of your day. Hold on. All right. Let's see who's going to be the winner of the baddest and budget planner. Okay. Beth Beckwith, you are the winner for the Baddies and Budget Planner. I will have my Instagram contact information in the description. Please reach out to me on Instagram so that we can connect and I can get your planner to you at the soonest possible time. All right, congratulations again. Looking forward to hearing from you. All right, guys, so congratulations to the winner. Remember, reach out to me on my Instagram so that we can connect so that I can get you your prize. Congratulations. Until my next video, bye-bye.